morning children welcome to our online classes okay i am sindhu hariharan i will teach you science first chapter that is growing plants growing plants okay today we will learn how the plants grow okay before start this let me to ask one thing how the plants are useful to us the plants gives us oxygen to breathe then fruits vegetables cereals wood spices etc so many things they provide us clear now growth of the plants what growth how the plants grow we can grow plants through seeds stem root leaves etc these are the vegetative part of the plant right and this is the reproductive part and this is the vegetative part by this the plant we can grow the plants now see how the plants grow from seed you know this structure of the seed this is the structure of the seed right here this is the cotyledon and the outer part of the seed outer part they have that is the seed coat this is seed coat what it does it protect the uh, embryo from injury okay and then here it is the seed coat seed coat clear and this cotyledon actually it is the uh, seed leaves seed leaves it gives food to the embryo embryo is present inside the seed and this gives the food to it and the seed hole what it gives uh, through this seed hole water goes inside now the internal structure before i explained that was the external structure now it is the internal structure internal structure means it shows the inside structure but structure present inside okay internal structure of the seed here how i i'll let see this is the cotyledon right and this is the seed coat and this is the seed hole and here inside you can see the structure that means that is the embryo this is the embryo now let me explain the functions of these parts seed coat it is the outer part so it gives the protection okay what it gives a protection and then seed hole allows water to go inside then cotyledon it provides food to the embryo and this embryo it grows and become the new plant clear everybody i hope everybody understood the structure of the seed external structure means only outside this portion it is the internal structure of the seed now see cotyledon right cotyledon means it is the seed leaves it 
it means when you are uh, you, you you may see uh, when you are traveling on the ground uh, when you people are seeing that seed started to grow and that in that uh, when it grows also to hmm. when you see the um, plant from in its both the sides uh, green or uh, light yellow color leaves that is known as the cotyledon okay i will tell you and uh, this cotyledon also two types of cotyledons uh, are there that is one is monocot monocot and the dicot that means the plants are divided into monocot and dicot according to the number of cotyledons here mono means single it means the seed having only one cotyledon where you can see this this one for this um, uh, coconut then uh, rice wheat there you can see the monocot then dicot dicot means the seed contains two uh, uh, cotyledons okay two cotyledons even mango mango it contains two cotyledons clear now see conditions conditions required for the growth see plants produces the seeds right and all the seeds do not grow into new plants some seeds we eat some other animal seed some the birds to takes and some will be destroyed by the rain or wind clear and some won't get the proper conditions to grow then the conditions when these these the conditions get then only the seeds started to grow till that what it does sir it goes in the dormancy it means for first thing is a healthy seed healthy seed healthy seed means it means just uh, after the harvesting right the crops we won't use it for growing into new plant the, it means this year if we harvested then then after two or three years only we will use those seeds for growing into new plant till that it takes the rest that rest period is known as dormancy okay dormancy dormancy means the resting period of the seed resting period of the seed and now when this dormancy after uh, during this dormancy when it get the favorable time and uh, correct temperature suitable place then proper air water it started to grow clear now see how the plants germinate that means germination germination means the growth of the growth of seed into seedling seed grows and become the new plant that is known as the seedling seedling means not something else it is a new plant the baby plant baby plant okay baby plant we call it as seedling now see how it is uh, comes up. this is the soil okay here the seed after eating we throw the seed and that seed here then after when it get the favorable time the seed started to grow here first you can see something like light yellow or uh, white portion that is the embryo it started to grow okay then after few days this started like this two portions will be coming down 
one will be down and one will be up and this down portion that is the radical radical it finally grows then become the root clear that means the root originates from the radical now the upper portion one portion goes upwards that is known as plumule plumule and that grows and coming up and then it becomes the it grows and become the shoot system develop the shoot system shoot system what are the things present leaves branches stem flower fruit everything that will be the shoot system okay that is radical and plumule these are the two uh, parts uh, after this growth okay then now see uh, when it uh, grows after few uh, time what happens uh, this uh, grows again and become this is see this cotyledon no? it dries it dries shrink that because this now this uh, plant uh, this root system and the shoot system not able to produce their own food right so who is giving the food like the baby getting the food from the mother the same way this is seed seed cotyledon uh, cotyledon giving the fruit right and now it's a uh, food uh, started to finish so now this plant is also able to produce its own food it started to fix its root under the soil now what happen this it slowly it shrink it shrink and then fall down okay fall down now see the individual plant you can see the uh, root and the shoot now you can't see the cotyledon here clear now what uh, this plant now able to uh, absorb the uh, water from the soil and it can do the photosynthesis clear everybody now i hope all of you understood the uh, uh, stages of germination everybody okay students now on the next class i will explain the dispersal of the seeds that means the scattering how the seed uh, spread from one place to another place from the mother plant okay